Welcome to New York's number two sports show. The Yankees make a minor trade with the Los Angeles Dodgers. They trade prospect Trey Sweeney, who was a first round draft pick by the Yankees just a couple years ago in 2021. And they acquire from the Dodgers left-handed reliever Victor Gonzalez and second baseman Yorbit Vivas. So this deal was made by the Dodgers in order to create space on their 40-man roster. They have just signed Shohei Otani, uh, I believe Joe Kelly as well, and so they needed they were pretty much full. And the Yankees have open spots in their 40-man roster, and Trey Sweeney is not on that 40-man roster. So these trades, they we, we've seen them happen over the years. One that comes to mind only because of Michael King being traded recently and thinking back to how he was acquired by the Yankees. King, the Yankees at that point needed to, they were in the Dodgers situation. They needed to clear the 40-man roster spots. So the Yankees traded away Garrett Cooper um, and um, Caleb Smith to the Marlins. And it's kind of interesting because Garrett Cooper, within all that time, has still been on the Marlins, uh, which is kind of interesting. But Michael King was um, traded to the Yankees and, and kind of um, a lotto ticket sort of situation, which I guess maybe is how the Dodgers are viewing Trey Sweeney. Although he's not that far removed from being a first round pick, I feel as if he probably dropped off just a little bit from maybe like 2022 to 2023. The numbers look decent for Sweeney at double A this past season. Uh, but the Yankees are pretty deep at shortstop, whether at the major league level and beyond. So there wasn't really much of a spot for him to go. So the bit of a log jam there. And he goes to the Dodgers. And again, like Dodgers, well-respected teams, a team in terms of they have, a, they have a very good farm system. And so clearly, if they think highly of him, that means something. And at the same time, the Dodgers still needed to make a deal. It, it works for both teams. Because again, they were kind of full in terms of their roster. So Trey Sweeney, who had been, and this goes to show you how much better and deeper, I guess, the Dodger farm system is than the Yankees. Trey Sweeney on MLB.com, when the trade was made like initially, he was number eight on the Yankee prospect, uh, you know, top 30. Now on the Dodgers, he's number 18. Vivas was number 10 on the Dodgers, number 10 on the Yankees. So I guess Vivas is considered a little bit, and it makes sense in terms of just uh, the lists. Vivas is now 10 on the Yankee list, whereas Sweeney was 8. Um, just to give you a little bit of perspective. Let's talk about Victor Gonzalez first. Victor Gonzalez is a left-handed reliever. And actually a pretty good one, all things considered. And it's making, it's making me wonder, do they maybe think that they may not be able to get Wani Peralta back? Uh, that one, out of all the impending, like all... Not, it's not impending anymore, but, but of all the free agents, the Yankee free agents, Wandy is the one that I think is the most likely to come back, right? There aren't many really out there of true significance, but like, for example, Isaiah Conor-Falefa would be very, very surprised to see him back as a Yankee. You never say never, but I, I wouldn't think so. Whereas Wandy, I think that there would definitely be some mutual interest, but in getting Gonzalez, is that just, they would have done that anyway, right? Because they are kind of, when you think about it, there's not many lefties on the Yankee 40 man roster right now. I think the only ones that come to mind are like Nick Ramirez and Matt Crook. So you're not really talking about a whole lot. Uh, and that, that's what comes to mind. I, I think that actually might be true. Gonzalez, he played a really big role in 2020 when the Dodgers won the World Series. Who was the winning pitcher in the clinching game for the Dodgers? The infamous Blake Snell being pulled by Kevin Cash game. It was Victor Gonzalez. So he was someone that put up great numbers in, in that abbreviated 2020 season. And especially in that World Series was very effective against the Rays. Um, 2021 got off to a pretty good start. And then, you know, like got a lot of holds in 2021 early. But then, you know, in effect, this kind of became a thing. And then injuries, he didn't pitch at all in 2022. Um... So yeah, like it's been a little bit of up ups and downs for him. 
Uh, and in 2022, I guess he, he didn't pitch at the major league level. He did pitch, I guess, maybe in re in a rehab capacity at AAA. And then last season was a mix between the majors and and the and AAA. His AAA numbers, um, a lot of walks, a lot of walks last year at AAA. MLB, the numbers really aren't all that bad. He induces soft contact, doesn't get a ton of like strikeouts. It's not horrible, but it's not great either. But I do think that Victor Gonzalez is someone that very well could be on this opening day roster. Is it a guarantee? Definitely not. But I think that uh, he is someone that's that's the name that I was I was aware of Victor Gonzalez. Um, again, like he's not he's no staple in this league at all. But lefties are hard to come by. Good lefties, and maybe he can be that new Wandy Peralta. Uh, and, and there's velocity in Victor Gonzalez. He can throw in the mid nineties. So this is no small piece. I think if he stays healthy, you look at this roster right now, he is your top lefty. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I don't trust Nick Ramirez and Matt Crook, um, who, you know, has shown well at AAA whenever, you know, in the short time with the in the, with the Yankees, didn't really do too much. So not really sure what to think of him. And again, we'll find out what happens with Wandy Peralta. But Victor Gonzalez is a Yankee now. And then Corbett Vivas, and I hope I'm saying his name correctly, he is someone that, so, whereas Trey Sweeney uh, last year was at Double A, Vivas started at Double A and then went to Triple A. Was pretty good at the Double A level um, and really good from a, a. He's a contact. What you like about him is the walk to strikeout ratio is really good. He he walks a good amount, doesn't strike out a whole lot, and so he's pretty advanced. He did struggle, you know, in twenty six games at Triple A. He did struggle, right? So. This is not someone that is going to be on the, you know, could he be on the team by the end of the year? Absolutely. He really, he, he absolutely can be. Um, but this is an interesting one. And, and I, I kind of like his skill set. He's not much of a home run hitter, right? That's not part of his game. It looks like he can steal bases. Uh, last year, combined between AA and AAA, had 25 steals. But this is an interesting one. I think with Trey Sweeney, there's a lot more upside. I think that, like, the, the, the Trey Sweeney range of outcomes are a lot more expansive. Vivas, I think, you kind of know, like, he is what he is, but I, I like the skill set, and I think that, hey, he's a left-handed hitter, um, mostly a second baseman, plays a little bit of third, but we'll see. Like, maybe, look, we may never see him with the Yankees, and um, but the fact that he's he's on the 40-man roster, that that is, to me, that's significant. Like, that, to me, says that they do see something in him, and hopefully, hey, maybe with a good spring training, he opens up some eyes and, and we'll see him. Um, look, injuries we know are a thing. And yeah, like it's not as if the Yankees have a lot of, I mean, look, there's there's Oswald, in terms of like infield depth, there's Oswald Peraza. Of course, as Waldo Cabrera can kind of play all over the place, but hey, like there isn't that much else, right? When you think about it. And of course, like the offseason is very fresh and there isn't much, I mean, there's a lot more that can happen, but I think that Vivas... Uh, might be a name that we let, let's you know th this trade is one that it's minor, but I think uh, we may look back on this one and say like, hey, like th uh, it, it could be somewhat impactful. And again, when it's a trade between the Dodgers and Yankees, like it, it's one that is always interesting. Uh, again, the Dodgers are a very well-run organization that has good players that come from their team. And also, if they're valuing Sweeney, that says something as well. But I think it's a trade that makes sense for both clubs. Again, Yankees trade first round pick from 2021, shortstop Trey Sweeney, to the Dodgers for left handed reliever Victor Gonzalez and second baseman Yorby Vivas. And just, you know, a little bit of a news bit the Yankees did meet with uh, Yamamoto today. And I think that within the next couple of weeks, we will find out where he lands. That's the big sort of like in, in Yankee world. That is where everyone's focus is at right now. But good to see that they're still trying to stay active in other areas, such as this trade with the Dodgers.